Right guys, so I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial today because it got requested by someone in the comments section of my new stalker video because they didn't know how to install misery mod so I thought I may as well do it anyway so if you want to get the misery mod all you have to do is you have to go on the internet first obviously then you go go to miserymod.com I'll leave all of this stuff in the description of the video and once you're on there you want to click the download now button and you scroll down and then you click download the full version that one I don't I don't know if you need if you get the full version I don't think you need to get that one but I got both of them anyway just to be sure but when you do is you click that and it will download automatically you can sign into ModDB like I did and or adverts like that will appear apparently <laughs> but you can sign into separate mirrors and download it but once it starts downloading and when it's done it's that advert was pretty annoying then but once it's done you want to go to computer Wherever it's installed, it'll normally be downloads like it is there, but I moved it onto my SSD just for recording purposes. You want to open it. And if you don't know where to get WinRAR, just Google WinRAR. You don't need to buy it. It always says the trial ends soon, but it never does. But you want to you want to drag this to here, so it will extract. And once it's extracted, you basically, it'll be here, misery. Now these two don't really matter. This is just their new game that they're making, basically, so you don't really need them. I'll just delete them. This is the README that just tells you all the lovely stuff that you need to know about how to install it and all that. But basically, you need to have this data folder. If you just have that, it won't work because I tried it with just that, and then it didn't work. So you need this data folder. You don't, you don't have to do it manually, but the setup needs that. And basically, click Run. Then whenever it decides to load, click Next. You find out where your stalker is located, and if none of you know how to do that, I'll show you that now. You go to wherever your Steam is installed, you know whichever hard drive it's in, if you have multiple hard drives. If you don't, then it'll just be in your C1 by default. You go on Program Files times 86, I think it's 86 if you've got a 64-bit operating system. If you don't, it'll be on, program, it'll be on normal. But you go there, you scroll down to Steam, and then Steam Apps, Common, Stock Call Appropriate. Yeah. Then if you want to copy the thing, you copy that. And you do this. Boom. I'm not actually going to install it. I, I hope, as I say, hopefully it didn't try and install it. I'll it overwrite all my stuff. Then you click next. You can select the English language. You can select the spoken language. It can be English or Russian, but I think the Russian one's a lot better. Now if FOV, the default's 55, but sometimes that can give you headaches and it means you can't see as far, like your camera won't be zoomed out. If you're playing like 720p, you could try any of these three, but for like 1080p plus, I'd go 8590 because I chose this one. And then you can change any of these. If you've got a really bad PC, you could go with that. But the default, I left mine on default that. That would be for like if you had like a couple of 780s in TI and in, in, in TI in, um, SLI, I think. Now you get the options, which is Misery, which is a really hardcore way, the best way to play it. Or well, there is Rookie mode, which they added in due to a popular demand I believe and you get dark mode which dark mode introduces basically when the sun is up there's constant radiation when the sun isn't up you know there's, it's night time with a shit and the mutants so it'll make stuff very 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 hard and then you click install and then once it's installed and all done so I'm not going to install it because just in case it messes anything up my hard drive or my game once it's done you basically want to go back to your stalker folder and you want to right click on this, click properties, click compatibility. You want to run it as admin because it can cause errors. They even say on their website to make sure you run it in administrator mode, otherwise it can mess some stuff up. And I think that's practically it. And uh, yeah, I think that literally is it. You launch the game and yeah. I guess I'll show you what the guy. What I'll show you guys what it looks like in game once it's installed. Even though you probably already know, but I'll just do it anyway. So why not? And this is what it should look like once it's installed, guys. You have, you know, it will say there the version of their game and then Misery version two one. Obviously, you'll notice the big change in the background. You know, then you click chapters, whatever, and all USS Sultan. You can enter the zone. You can choose the Black Road. The Black Road basically is a more hardcore start. You start with a knife. In, in the middle of nowhere in a shack strand with a load of zombies and pseudo dogs so if you want a hard time pick that but this is going to be the end for this tutorial to try and give it another five minutes I hope this helped you out and I'll see you in the next video